Okay. It seems like we're going to do one more episode tonight. Um, the first episode of season seven. We've been busy, and this is our opener, our season opener at home against Antwerp. Beautifully uh, staged, because Antwerp was, of course, the uh, game that we had, sorry, the stadium that we had last season. Antwerp being our fierce rivals, if uh, all is correct, if I remember that well. Let's have a look at the general. Somewhere in here, we will actually see the rivals of the club. Please, tell me. Fierce rivals, Antwerp, local. So that's beautiful. And Antwerp, of course, was the stadium last season. Amazing. Uh, so it couldn't have got any better. Like, they hosted us last year. We get to host them this year in our brand new stadium. The uh, L-Shot Stadium that is not called the L-Shot Stadium just yet because I was planning on changing it after this session. But with how it's gone, um, I feel like I can't s uh, take my eyes off the ball at the moment. I need to get through this transfer window in one piece, in one session, so I, I totally understand exactly what is needed and I don't forget a player that we desperately need at this club. I really do think we've got a great chance here. Let's see what we've got transfer-wise going through. Transfer history sorted out by price in and out. Let's start off with the late ones. Last season, Henry Vareth went to Arsenal for £2.5 million and then well, he's been sent on his way to uh, Houston Dynamo. Congratulations, I guess. And that's that. Next season. So this is the new season. Uh, Badia Hubain, who, if you remember, we got as a free from one of the Club Bruges Youth Academies. He has gone for £1.4 So the person who we didn't expect to do any kind of profits, well, he's turned into quite an alright player profit-wise. Which is incredible. Uh, Alfred Van Heerden, the South African centre-back, has moved to PAOK -okay in Greece. Yes, they have gone to Greece. Uh, Miguel Venegas, who I believe was a free agent, Colombian free agent. He has moved to Atletico Nacional. Then the Czech Republic centre-back, Jan Krat Kratojvil. Oh. He's gone back to the Czech Republic. Adam Lynch, the uh, Danish striker, he's gone off to Lommel. And then Andre Wilson, Brazilian striker. I've not seen much of him. He went back to Brazil. Maxence Verbeck was one of the first Youth Academy sign uh, regen signings that I made all the way back in 2021 to 2022. He's moved to Serang for 40k. Mathis Tardy has also left. Part Exchange, Jenna Durand has left for Core Trick. And um, Kasongo, Bert De Meyer, both out on loan. Coming into the club, well, I did say that we were going to bring in some defenders, and that is exactly what has happened. Centre backs, current ability, three and a half stars, potential at max. This is Felipe Chartier. Chartier. And then we have uh, Matthias Nulens. Uh, he is four and a half star, but it was cheap, so I'm not really going to complain about that. We have Lissandro Milaneri. Milaneri? He is maximum potential, so these are really solid ticks. Um, the pot exchange was for Maxim the, the Con. Yeah, it's the same surname as my left winger. Um, but the potential is only at four stars, so that, that was a miss. And also Roy Roos, who we looked at in the last episode, I think. Uh, he was a miss too. So there's been a couple of misses. Two misses out of five. That's not good. Really not good by our scouts. And we could be doing so much better with this money. I'm seeing a couple of players floating around that I desperately want to get. But I don't think I'm going to get the money to make it happen i'll try and show you because this is why 
I don't really want to get off any time um, tonight during the transfer window because we have this uh, this um, Romanian winger come striker thing, this absolute monster that I desperately want to sign, but he's four point eight million pounds, and try and find the other guy maybe in the shortlist. Say if we go to the default shortlist. Uh, remember that we also have this guy coming in in January, correct? Transfer to Rupel Boom, January 2027. So there's another um, bringer of the goods, central defensive. Uh, where's the other guy? Go to the recent list. There's another person that I'm interested in. Of course, um, with me in the hunt for a left back as well. Possibilities. This guy could be it. I don't know, man. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that there's some decent players for not that much money. It's this cat. It's this guy, Mert Yamak. We're going to see what the scouts think of him, but then take it with a pinch of salt because these scouts are absolute trash. But he could be only about two, three million pounds, Mert Yamak. And I mean, we have got a decent left back already but to for him to be back up that would be insane don't want to be overspending for a backup we've got to be really really careful with this money all right setting up this is the first time in our new stadium it will be renamed eventually but for now it's just the rupel boom stadium we'll know it as the l shot stadium okay submit the team have some fun uh submit a number for johan camps who Apparently didn't have a number for some reason. I did try and sell him. I tried to sell all our centre bikes. I knew for a fact that we needed to um, change our centre bike. That was the uh, the part of the field where we really did struggle. Um, and then I worried about just our replacement left bike. Because I don't really want to... Um, I don't really want to be on Nabbers all the time. Remember, Nabbers has got slight injury problems or he's a little bit... See, say... Oh, yeah. He's a little bit injury prone. So if he gets injured through the season, can I rely on the left-backs that we've got at the club? Yeah, no, I don't think I can, uh, honestly. So that needs to get sorted out. i, I got to be honest, the stadium... Yeah, it's it's different, but it's it's very similar to many of the other Belgian stadiums that we've we've ran into. And I'm telling you something, it doesn't feel oh my goodness. Is he gonna run that in? It doesn't feel new. You see, you know what I'm saying? Like looking at the stadium, it doesn't feel new. I mean don't do this to me. To lose on uh opening stadium game debut thing against our fiercest rivals is going to be one to very much forget in, in this moment where we've got a new stadium lads don't do it to me please who's the center backs charity charity a and peters get it together get it together lads this is supposed to be a very good season for us I have to encourage. I have to do something. Try and keep it all positive, smiley, smiley. Because if I berate them, that's it. It's done. The wolf has got an injury. Why is the wolf even starting? Go on. Why is the wolf even starting? By the way, we've got your the wolf. Because I honestly don't think at this moment in time that he's ever going to go back to PSV. He's just forever going to stay here. We got Danny Vase ready to go. What is going on with Is the other left midfielder got injured? Confirm the sub. Let's go home for a second. Squad view. No, they just didn't want to play him. They didn't want to put him on the bench. Well, that's very clever, isn't it? Real smart. <laughs> oh, no. 
Jesus Christ. Good save, keeps. Verhoeven take, gets us out of so much danger. Well, it's not going to plan in our first game in this brand new spanking stadium. We get a nice look at it right here. Um, this is the best shot that we've had. Yay. The Rupel Boom Stadium we were losing to Antwerp. Okay, I I need to I need to get into the dressing room. And this is a thrash arms moment. This is th this is just not good enough. You've got to book it up. I definitely should demand more of the entire team. Pain. Oh, who took that deflection? You know, if it's one of my new signings that got the deflection there and misdirected it, it doesn't even show you. Wicked. It's this lad, whoever it is. Take it, took a touch, and it sent the goalkeeper the wrong way. Wrong footed him. Verhoeven, I, I need to like give you a pay rise. I did give him a pay rise actually. I've just extended his contract. Jesus, this is not what I wanted or what I expected. Oh, in the new stadium, it's the it's the new it's the new stadium thing. This is technically worse than the big thrashing that we received in our second season. You remember that? This is worse. Because the supporters have been looking forward to this for fucking years. Oh my god. <clears throat> it's not looking good, is it? I I have to berate. That they look and they happy. They're happy to be berated. I don't know why. It's a poor one. I'm not very happy, as you can probably tell. If this is going to be our big season, yeah, we've got to play a damn sight better than that. Our first ever game at the L Shot Stadium ends. As a 2 0 loss to our biggest rivals. That is painful. That is one of the worst games to ever lose. I, I can't think. Like, of course, finals are really bad. But fine, I'd say finals against your rivals, like your bitterest rivals, are probably worse than what we've just had to experience. That was our first. That's stain in history. First ever game. You lose to your rivals. Yikes. It's a bad start. Oh, and we got Club Bruges next. Oh. No, thank you. <laughs> right then. Let's see what magic I can I can make. There's not that many games between us and the end of August, and that's when. Really, every should, everything transfer-wise needs to be done and dusted. So, uh, wish me luck. Next game, I oh, don't know. Somewhere around here. It'll be all right. We'll get it sorted. I'm, I'm not making any promises on which game it is. Perry wants to leave the room, so I might as well just end the video and open the door for him. See you later, guys.